In this video, I want to talk about the scope of a variable. Earlier in the course, we said that we must declare a variable before we use it. And now we want to add on to that. Now I want to talk about where can the compiler actually see the variable. Well, up until chapter 4, we've only had one set of braces in our, in our code, and it was the set of braces that define main. So the scope of x basically was from where we declared x all the way down to the end of main. And that's still true. But let's suppose, because of, a, of our uh, addition of the if statements, let's suppose I have another set of braces. So in this case, x is 5, and I have a statement, I have a statement, the statements don't mean anything, just some particular C++ piece of code. And then I have an if. If x, if 5 is greater than 3, that's true. Now I create another variable y. Now, the scope of y is from where I declared it all the way down to the end of the block it was created within. So the scope of y is highlighted. If I try to use y down here in this area here, the program won't even compile. Now, what about x? Can I use x in here? Sure. X is fine. The scope of x is from here to here, including this brace. However, the scope of y is from here to here.